Guys, this is very important to factor in a shelter payment when you're running the application. Now, I disagree with the shelter payments. Some of the lenders charge an outrageous amount of shelter payment that we have to use on the application. What a shelter payment is, is a payment we have to factor against the client, even if they live with their parents and say they're buying a rental property or a cottage, something like that, we have to factor in a shelter payment. Um, or a co-signer being on the mortgage and maybe they live with somebody um, and they're not on the title of the home, they don't even pay anything. The lenders still make you felt factor in a shelter payment. So each lender has their own. The lowest shelter payment I've seen with a lender is $300 a month where some lenders make us use what's called fair market rent. So they'll have an appraiser say what it would cost to rent in that area and they'll use that. So in some cases I've had them use like $1,800 or $2,200 a month shelter payment. So what happens is say you're buying a rental property and you live with your mom. Well, I'm just making this up. Let's say this is the scenario though. What happens is we have to use a shelter payment as a liability. So it acts like a debt, even though you don't pay anything because you live with your mom, this is how the lenders are required to do it. Again, I think it's a little silly, but it's super important to know that every lender has their own shelter payment. So as an investor who's not moving into this property that maybe does live at home or they live with their girlfriend, but the girlfriend owns the home or they're married, but they're not on title, right? In those cases, we have to use a shelter payment, which can really diminish your client's pre-approval. So again, it's super important to know all the shelter payments of all the lenders to maximize your client's approval. All right, guys, thanks for coming.